Hi, I'm Carlos Diaz, Library Associate at St. John the Baptist Parish Library, and this is a Book Talk. Today's Book Talk is American Psycho, a controversial novel by Brett Easton Ellis. Patrick Bateman is, a, is 26, and he works on Wall Street. He's handsome, sophisticated, charming, and intelligent. He's also a psychopath, taking us on a head-on collision with America's greatest dream and its worst nightmare. American Psycho is a bleak, bitter, black comedy about a world we all recognize but don't wish to confront. American Psycho was originally slated to be published by Simon & Schuster. However, in November of 1990, the company, citing aesthetic differences, dropped the book over its graphic and misogynistic content. But Ethan Ellis got to keep the money anyway. Later that year, it was published and picked up by Vintage Books. This book is not for everyone, but it is a great read for readers who enjoy reading about unreliable narrators and love transgressive fiction. The materials discussed are mater the themes discussed are materialism and consumption, identity and isolation, monotony and desensitization, vice and violence, and the truth. And that's it. What we have here with American Psycho is um, one of the more controversial novels that has ever been published in um, American publishing in at least 35 years. Uh, the book was published in 91. I was 12 that year, so I definitely didn't read it. And truth be told, um, this is my first time reading the book um, a good 24, 25 years after the film was adapt after the book was adapted into a successful film. Um, the movie was released in the year 2000. It was It was um, directed by Mary Heron and it starred Christian Bale in the titular role. Now, as far as the book is concerned, um, this year I want to read some transgressive fiction, and I want to uh, read books to movies I saw like 25 years ago, American Psycho being one of them and um, Fight Club being another. Um, and this one, it does fall into the transgressive fiction. It, like, again, it's not for everybody. Um, if you're squeamish, if... Um, if you don't like reading about that subject matter, then I don't recommend it. But uh, if you're someone who enjoys um, reading about unreliable narrators, then this might be for you. Um, again, as discussed, it it um, it deals with a lot of things. It um, what I like, what I really like about it is that um, it puts it puts the text into the context, and by that I mean um, these fictitious characters are put into real world events. Um, it's set in the '80s uh, during the yuppies during the the decade of greed, um, they're in Reaganomics, and there's a lot of historical context in the novel. There's a lot of historical references that are that are clearly um, clearly made, so you can see the parallelism. And um, Patrick Bateman, he is he's he's a rich yuppie. He's obsessed with uh, materialism and consumption. Uh, whole chapters of the book uh, read like a catalog because he describes everything from clothing to food to um, accessories with. Um, with, with great detail. Um, and also, it's also a character study about um, his identity and his isolation, how he leads such a lonely life and how um, it's really empty and, uh, and cold. It also deals with uh, monotony and desensitization. Several chapters uh, focus on his daily uh, routine and how he's very meticulous about his, um, about his personal endeavors. And desensitization because he watches a lot of action movies that have desensitized him to... Uh, to everyday violence and vice. And he engages in a lot of vice, a lot of uh, questionable activities that, that he does during his off-duty time. And finally, the truth. Um, this is an unreliable narrator, so uh, take the narrative as you will. He may or may, may not be telling you the truth about what he does and why he does those things. Um, again, I enjoyed reading the book. Uh, I, I stress that it's not for everybody. Transgressive fiction uh, normally isn't. But this book is part of our culture. Um, it is firmly cemented in, um, in the, the culture of our society. Uh, we do have the book. Um, while I've got, the, um, I've got my personal copy here um, in the paperback edition, we do have a copy that's readily available um, in Libby. It's a digital copy, and it's free for you to check out with your library card. So, again, if you want to read a book um, um, about a character that that's very um, difficult to understand, and you may not you may not uh, root for him, and he may not, he may not have any redeeming qualities. But if you enjoy that type of literature, um, I highly recommend picking up uh, American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Thank you very much, and this is a book talk.